Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for video 100. It is the vid ten ten centennial, woo! -hoo. Anyways, um, anyhow, this is the shave where I'm going to use my single ring, as the title says. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to use. The razor is my, at least I know in the... the Unboxing, I said it was a 1905, but apparently down here on the base plate, I don't know if you can see it, it's got the Gillette Diamond logo. They started putting that on the razor back 1908 or a little after, so this is at least a 1908, maybe a little newer. The blade in it is a Astra SP. I don't want to have the same issue that I had when I used that Wilkinson Sword. Saloon, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade that I described in the last video. So we're going to try it with the Astra SP. The brush is my 24 millimeter Tuxedo Knot from AP Shave Co. In, in the AP Shave Co. Ruby Ripple Handle. It's a barber handle style. It's a barber style handle. And just this knot is just so soft. It's one of my favorite brushes. The soap, I had won a WSP um, Formula T Sandalwood from Sledhead, and he was kind enough to send me some samples, a sample, a little honey oatmeal sample soap in the shape of a heart from an artisan or soap maker in his area. He sent me that. A Mount Bel Air something or other not sure what it is but he also sent me this sample of um, Zingari man troubadour oh, it's a beautiful beautiful scent I'm not sure what it falls in to me it smells kind of barbershoppy I could be wrong maybe again I'm not and I got it smushed down half of the sample he sent me smushed down into my timeless blue lather bowl so let's go ahead let's wet the brush and get lathering synthetic brush so i don't have to worry about it i'm gonna save some time by cutting away here i'm gonna lather this up and then i'll be back Oh man, soap rolled down my chest. I figured I'd go ahead and get the, most of the lathering done here. I do got several shout outs to do. But we'll go ahead and Save those for the in between the shave and the post shave. We've got like six or seven shout outs to do. Um, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. Um, hope you're not going nuts. But, uh, this Zingari man or Zingari man is, uh, not soft, it is firm, but it's not like really hard. So, I'm getting the lather all on my hand. Yeah, rinse the handle off here real quick. Yeah. 
And let me dry my hands. Don't want to handle the razor with my hands. That could be bad. Yeah, I went on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. I went to go on, what do you call it, um, Lancaster Razor Works website, or Etsy store, uh, to get a couple of those black sheep shaving towels, first pass with the grain. Oh yeah, that's, that's immediately feeling a lot smoother than that Wilkinson, Saloon, Wilkinson Sword, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade did. Yeah, this is going to be a good shave. Um, I do got one shout out I do want to give. Um, to his YouTube name is Dapper Dave. He is a fellow visually impaired wet shaver. Look, guys, I'm using my right hand. Um, He had commented on my injector shave video. So, if you're a subscriber, Dave, let me know in the comments. If not, thanks for checking out the video, man. But, He looks forward to the single room shaves, so. Oh yeah. Much nicer. So is there the efficient? Very efficient. But the old types usually are. Got two other old type heads. Uh, Milady and just a ball in style. Old type. Or it has a ball in handle on it. And they're pretty efficient, so. Anyways, that's the first pass. Oh yeah. I've got, what? I haven't shaved since I posted that, um, Schick Adjustable video. So. And, uh, and my YouTube isn't giving me notifications half the time. Um, I know that Dapper Dave and another person who I'll mention in the um, shout outs, who's a new subscriber. I didn't get a notification that they commented until I got a notification of one a new subscriber that did comment. And uh, when I went there to the injector video comments, I saw two guys that, you know, one said, yeah, I, I subscribed. Because I... I asked him earlier in the week if he was a subscriber because he commented on the video and he had commented on a couple of them, so. But, um, 
now up to what 93 subscribers so thank you guys thank you so much for either sticking with me and um you know not not bailing out and uh or if you're a new subscriber thank you so much um i really appreciate the subs and i really appreciate the comments I really enjoy interacting with you guys, which I'm trying to do more often, and there's some videos that I see come up, and I'm like, I'll get to that later, and just with the kid, and and everything going on in the world, and with the house, it's like, I just don't get a chance to, you know, go ahead and watch your guys' videos. Um, I'll just watch that later and then I forget about it. And... So, I'm going to start putting the videos to the channels that I am subscribed to when I don't, well, I can't do it immediately, watch the video. I'm just going to put it in my watch later folder. And then maybe Saturdays catch up on the videos. Anyways, enough about me. Let's talk about these products. The brush, I absolutely loved it. I love it. AP Shave Co. I only have the one, but if the rest is as nice as the one I got. I want to get some more. And um, the soap Zingri Man. Zingri Man. Just. It's some slick, slick stuff. Let's check the residual slickness on this. Get my fingertips on it. Not noticing a lot of residual slickness, but of course, it's the first time using the soap. So I might have too much water in it. I don't know. I might not have enough water in it. I just don't know. So, I mean, it's performing really well. Plenty, plenty slick. Feels really good on the face. Well, that was past too. I just got to do a paint on. Oh, this shape is going quick, guys. No irritation of being kind from the soap. That's a good thing. But yeah, I really, really do like this single ring. It's it's a it's a nice shaven razor. neck at an angle because of the way my hair grows. But Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I went to Lancaster Razor Works to get a couple of those black sheep towels and 
I never finished that story. But anyways, I went there and went to check on the charcoal and I was like, okay, they're offered in white and charcoal. Uh, I'll go with the charcoal. It don't show blood that easy. Sold out. And it wasn't even, it was barely 10 after 9. Okay. I'll get a white one. I'll get a couple of white ones. And poop, no go. The sign is sold out. I was like, damn. So I ordered a couple of brushes. So. ordered the solar flare with the white nexus knot he calls it and which is a 24 millimeter brush and uh, I'm late to the party a few guys Ari is shaved with it. Um, Ken Surf's is one. He got that very early on and it's really after its release. And um, just sounds like a cool brush. It's based on a, oh, I can't remember. I'll have that information when I use it. And the other one was his brand new Peregrino brush which is the handle design is based off of uh, ever ready 500e so i'm looking forward to that it's as beef if not a little bit more beef than the atomic rocket from the way it looks oh wow yeah oh man did really good i don't even really have any little pickups to do wow that's a damn good soap and razor and blade. Oh, damn good razor and blade combination. Oops, got a little bit right there. Yeah. Yeah, when I used this the first time, by this point in the shave, I was like, yeah, um, not good. Like a dumbass, I didn't switch the blade. I should just went ahead and sucked it up and went in the room and grabbed a different blade and shaved in and grabbed a different blade. But I was gonna be tough. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off. Um, and then I'll be back to apply the alum. Old Spice alum stick. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, oh yeah, a little bit around the mouth. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll link down in the description as many links as I can to places to get these items that I'm using in tonight's shave. I'm going to try and start doing that for you guys. That way if I use a product and you think, wow, that's a really cool product, I want, I want, to, get some, I want to get one. And I'll definitely link the Etsy store where I got the single ring traveler set for 70 Um... And I'll also link the video where I unboxed the razor in case you missed it. Anyways, yeah, a um, little bit of stinging around the mouth and a little bit down here and over here and up in here. But hardly anything on the cheeks. Um, so yeah, that's, that's good. I'll go ahead. Rinse off. I'll be back to go ahead and give you guys that list of new subscribers. Anyways, guys, I got my the new subscribers record here on my Victor Reader, which if you are visually impaired, this is a great device. You can download books from the National Library Services, um, put music and you know in an MP3 format onto it, um, notes. 
just different, different things. So it's a really cool device to have if you're blind. Anyways, so the new subscribers are, and this, you know, there might be a little bit of a lag between each name because, you know, I'm listening to the recording. Anyways, here we go. MC Shaving, The Budget Shaver, NYC Wet Shaver, Gordon Christie, hang on, David Benvy, Luca, I'm sorry Luca, I cannot pronounce your last name um, because of my voiceover on my iPhone and all that and I had my girlfriend look at it and she was like, "It's uh, she wasn't quite sure what it was due to the spelling so I apologize. And resubscribing Abe Froman. It's been a while since, um, you know, welcome back, Abe. Uh, you were one of my, you were a very active commenter. I really enjoyed interacting with you. And welcome back to the channel, buddy. And just in case any of you are in the hankering for sausage, go ahead, get hold of Abe. He's the sausage king of Chicago. And if you're older, you'll get that. You know, if you was watching in popular movies in the 60s, you'll get it. If not, well, you're going to have to watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off to go ahead and learn what that reference is to. Uh, or to, you know, catch that. Anyways, welcome back to Abe and welcome to the rest of you guys to the channel. Um, the Budget Shaver, I watched. It's his favorite brush video. Um... It was like listening to, you know, you have Frank Sinatra going on in the background. And, you know, it was like, you know, he was kind of channeling his inner Frank. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut away, shave the dome, and I'll be back for the post. Hey, guys. I mentioned it about the products I was going to use. But what I'm going to do down in the description, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post the links to sites where you can get everything that I've gotten, links to each of the products. I am also going to go ahead and link the OS Sprocket store, Etsy store out of France. He sells some really nice stuff, um, really decent prices. After all, I got my traveler set for 70 bucks. Um, so he's got really, really good prices. And just a tip, if you see like, the title of a razor, Gillette, blah, blah, blah. And then some initials, uh, like three letters, like on the single ring, it was LVL. And that was just a notation for him to let him know that it was, the razor had belonged to a friend of his that he was selling it for. Um, so I'll link that store down in the description. I will also be linking the, at least the three channels of the, um, NYC Shaver, uh, Budget Shaver, and Gordon's channel in the description as well. And I will also put a link to Matt Pasarsik's, um, Gillette Archive Series single ring video. It's a really interesting video. If you're into the history of Gillette razors, it's a nice little bit of info that you could go ahead and, and, you know, have. Anyways... I'll go ahead and let y'all back to the video. That's a darn good shave, guys. Really, really nice shave. Um, well, I'm missing a little bit right there, but I don't care. Um, chin's good. Neck, pretty good. Trouble spots, not as close as I'd like. But those hairs will pull back in as things settle down. My head, I did the first pass with the single ring. And I did the rest of it with the um, with a disposable cart style razor. I'm thinking about getting myself one of those leaf razors for the head because they pivot. Just use that pretty much solely as a head shaver. 
occasional occasional face shaver um because it pivots like a cart but then it takes half a de blade so you know you can do up to three blades so thinking about getting one but yeah the face is face is marvelous the post shave fill pretty good and the scent still there so yeah i would definitely say um i would get a tub of zingari man or zingari man you know and and try it out um like i said the residual slickness wasn't that great but it was the very first time i ever used the soap so i could have put too little water in it too much water i don't know um it takes me three or four shaves sometimes five or six to really dial in a soap so but i liked it it's a good soap um and I know I say it's good, it's good on a lot of things, but, well, it don't take a lot to impress me sometimes. But, uh, seriously though, um, I don't have sensitive skin, uh, you know, so, you know, a razor isn't going to tear me up, except for when I put the Wilkinson Sword Gillette Slim Blade in there, that kind of kicked my ass. But usually, you know, a razor, you know, even my $20 micro touch one does good. Because you can about run anything over my dang face. And, you know what, I haven't used this in a while. The Takata Aftershave Balm that my girlfriend got me in a pack with some brushless shave cream. But yeah, Gordon, he's got like, what, 16 subscribers um, with his accent. He doesn't talk a lot in his videos, at least the couple I watched. He doesn't talk a whole lot in his videos, so, but he, he sounds like he might, don't quote me on this, he might be Swedish or Norwegian. You know, um, somewhere from that part of the world, but it's kind of relaxing listening to his videos because, you know, he's got, I don't know if he lives on a place by a lake or, or what, but it's definitely sounds more like it's not the country because on one video I heard birds chirping in the background, which was soothing. Um, I'm not a huge fan of birds. Because uh, they're a bit messy to clean up after. But the um, the sounds they make is soothing. And then sound like ducks or geese in another one. So, um, yeah. So, you know, 16 subscribers. Let's see if we can go ahead and get them some more possibly. Um, I didn't subscribe i didn't get a chance because i had to go in the middle of the second video i was watching but gordon i will be subscribing to your channel so but yeah it's nice now the aftershave is going to be as soon as i find it one that i've been using since i got into this skin bracer by Menon. The scents, powdery, I just, I really like it. I really like it. It might be a bit of an old guy's scent, but I like it. It's got a little bit of burn, and then it cools the skin down. Anyways, guys, that's the shave hope you enjoyed it the video as much as I enjoyed making it haven't said this in a while but likes comments subscriptions always appreciate it and if you do subscribe go ahead and you know boot that bell and get all notifications
Anyways, y'all have a nice night. Stay safe. Have wonderful shaves. And I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.